So, the super moon, schmooper moon. That is a drinking straw. And I'm gonna see if you can actually see the super moon, which is that guy up there, which is the largest the moon, or the closest the moon's been to the Earth in about uh, 40 years, whether you can actually see that through a drinking straw. So to help me with this, I'm gonna use some light baffle here. Yeah. So that's just going to cut out all of the stray light. So there's our drinking straw with the light baffle. So let's get the drinking straw nice and centered on the camera. Oh, and there we go, straight in. And that is the super moon uh, seen through a drinking straw. So what exactly is a super moon? Why is it always in the press? So this is going to be the largest moon that you'll be able to see for some 60 years. Well, let's take a look at the solar system from a distance and zoom into the Earth like that. Boom. And as you can see in real time, it doesn't actually move that quickly. So I'm going to speed up time, several orders of magnitude here. You know, 10, 100, 10,000 times. There we go. So now you actually see the Earth spinning. And if we zoom out, we'll actually get to the moon. There we go. That little guy up at the top there. That's the moon. That's the super moon that we've just seen. Um, and as you can see, the moon goes around the Earth quite slowly compared to how quickly the Earth rotates, in fact. Obviously, the Earth's got to rotate about 28 times for the moon to go around the Earth once. So the moon's orbit there is not completely centered on the Earth. So it turns out when the moon's at its closest to Earth, it's about 10% closer than when it's furthest from Earth. And that distance is about a quarter of a million miles, 400,000 kilometers. So if you've got a, a car that's really hung in there, that can clock up about 200,000 miles. So let's just to keep it all in perspective. But anyway... So when the moon is at its closest, it's about 10% closer. And the media has, for some strange reason, taken to calling them super moons. All it really is, is you've got a full moon when it's at its closest to Earth. So the reality is that every time the moon goes around the Earth, it obviously gets to the point where it's closest to Earth. So there is a super moon every month. The difference this time is the moon was full when it was actually closest to Earth. But the reality is, to the naked eye, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this full moon and any other full moon. 